Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Another beautiful picture sent to us of our Central Oregon landscape. This is Sparks Lake, one of my favorite lakes to go to without the smoke in the sky. And I thought I would show you this to let you know what we have to look forward to as we're hoping and anticipating that our smoke is going to clear over the next day or so. So other than the smoke that we could see the haze through tomorrow, we should have mostly clear skies. We're not anticipating any clouds for several days because we have high pressure moving back into the region starting tomorrow. Here's the projection for the smoke. We have a north wind for the next few days and this smoke is being blown straight down and then we'll spread out a little bit as that smoke lightens up and we could have and be back to mostly clear skies with that by the end of tomorrow. Our air quality has been increasing tonight. More areas are getting back into the good range and quite a few less in the unhealthy and back to moderate. So that's a good thing. We're moving in the right direction. Winds a little bit stronger in Prineville right now at 14 miles per hour, 11 through Redmond and Madras. This will continue for us day and night, at least 10 miles per hour out of the north until we get into those overnight hours. And then that's when the light winds become light and variable. With our temperatures today, here in Central Oregon, we were well below average. We're usually around 82 to 83 this time of year, and we were at 78 for our high so far today. 80s to our south, 82 in Eugene, and then the 60s along the coast. For us, tomorrow, we are going to see our temperatures just skyrocket. A few other places as well. Medford area is looking at triple digits. Eugene should be up into the 90s, could be 80 at Coos Bay. And we are looking to jump from that 78 degree temperature that we had today to 92 tomorrow. So getting to that point, we're starting here tonight in those cooler temperatures, 75 in Prineville Sisters, 73 in Sun River to 78 right now in Redmond and then 82 in Warm Springs tonight. Although it is going to be above average is another Another cooler night than what we're looking at coming up ahead or warmer night than we sh you know warmer night for is our average is what I'm trying to say but still cool look at this temperatures in those mid 30s in Lapine and Sun River so I would say that's cooler even though we are above average tomorrow I would like to say I think it's going to be hot we're ranging from 90 potentially in Sisters and Sun River to 94 in Warm Springs and that's a pretty hot day saying is that we're going to be at least 10 degrees above average here's the high pressure that we're looking at that we're watching you're going to see that move in on Tuesday and continue it shifts just a little bit we're not quite at that ridge yet and as you can probably imagine with our future track that means mostly clear skies all the way through allergy forecast is at low again today and the extended forecast looks like it's going to stay there for the next few days not anticipating any changes hazy through tomorrow temperatures into the mid 90s by Thursday we peak on Friday in the high 90s then we begin to cool off as we get closer to Labor Day